high in protein, low in saturated fat, and a great source of omega-3. Fish is a great starting point for any healthy meal. Of course, how you cook it and how fresh it is will always make a big difference. So let's head to where Auckland's fish story starts. I'm here at the Auckland Fish Auction at 5 o'clock in the morning. As you can see, most of the buyers are ancient. I'm keen to know what they are going to do with the fish. These two are shopping for their restaurant. Herbert and Dennis are here buying fish for a traditional Chinese dish. So Dennis, what kind of fish are you looking for today? Oh, normally, uh, we will see the, which fish, uh, fish is best fish. And for example, this is hapuka. And Chinese people love it because it's very meaty and oh. chunky, right? right? It's very good for steward. So how do you know this fish is fresh or not? Well, sometimes it is uh, quite obvious by looking at the color. Oh, this one. Oh. Yeah. So if the color is red. Yeah. yeah. It's the color red? Yeah. yeah. Bright red, then it, it is uh, fresh next to the living fish. Oh, that's what I know. Otherwise, it is bright red or dull red. It might not be that good. At around 6 a.m., the auction starts. Auctions like this run in reverse. The price starts high and drops until a buyer stops the auction clock. So, the sooner you bid, the higher the price. Leave it too late, and another bidder, maybe a restaurant owner or a fish shop owner, might have bought what you want. Herbert and Dennis get the blue card they want. Back in China, I've always ate the sweet and soy fish in a squirrel ship, and I always came to know how to prepare it. So now Dennis is just going to show me. Sichuan in Ramiro specialized in serving authentic whole fish dishes. This sweet and sour dish has a healthy Western twist. The sauce uses pomegranate juice to make it sweet and red. So all you have to add is vinegar and corn flour. How long have you been doing this? Well, a couple of years, man, because this is actually quite a favorable dish, and oh. then we f uh, sell quite a few uh, uh, every day. All these vegetables are quickly stir-fried, so they remain crunchy. And then the sauce is added for color and thickening. Now for the fish, then it's butterfly fillets for the fish. So this is obviously a safe fish, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah, but in China we use the real fish. What's the difference uh, in the taste? Well, most sea fish has a better taste. They don't um, got the uh, muddy uh, palate, uh, muddy feeling, and sea fish normally taste better. The reason of uh, having the egg with yes. the better is uh, it will taste and smell much better. Dipping in corn flour helps the diamond cuts separate when the fish is cooked. This texture, which is said to look like a running squirrel, is how the dish got its name. You know, it reminds me something about the Chinese dish they always say, se xiang wei ju quan. So that means that you not going, the dish not, is not going to only taste good, it's got to look good. Exactly. But the pineapple. Well, actually, pineapple has the same pronunciation as squirrel in Chinese oh, meaning. Yes, yes. So, you know squirrel like pineapple as well, yeah, right? Yeah, this is a song, this is a song shu, so it's a seminar, yeah. Exactly. Of course, fish is so healthy, you don't even need to cook it. So, I've headed to the very best award-winning Japanese restaurant, Soto, where the most beautiful dishes are made every day. Kenji is going to prepare some sashimi, while head chef Masa explains the tradition. So could you just uh, introduce, uh, tell us uh, well, what Kenji does at the moment? Yeah, he slices in very thin. Yeah. It's we call usuzukuri. Uh -huh. See the... Yes. It's, it's see the, you know, hand. Transparent, yeah. yeah. Very thin, yeah. Um, do you think I can give a try? Yeah, of course. Of course, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Why my one is so small? And do you want the professional piece? Okay. That that is the professional one. That is the unprofessional one. But I can eat that, both. <laughs> we need some wasabi to help with our sashimi. The fresh wasabi root 
is grated on a sharp skin board. This wasabi is very strong. Oh, who actually invented a way um, to using sashimi and the wasabi together, put them as a combination? Why was that? Uh, raw fish has some uh, bugs, actually. Huh? So if eat uh, wasabi and raw fish together, yeah. it kills bugs. We, we can get a uh, very fresh uh, fish moment, yeah. so it should be fine. Snapper, tuna, and salmon like this have no saturated fat, only omega-3 and protein, which are good for you. This is the most beautiful way to eat a raw fish. But here in New Zealand, the most popular way to eat it is a fish and chips. Usually, this British tradition is about as unhealthy as you get. But the fish and chips at Mission Bay's Fishbowl Cafe changes all that. The fish is coated in breadcrumbs, is cooked in hot, clean canola oil, and then we are drained. Fish and chips like this is a very healthy way to keep the custom alive. So the amazing thing about the fish is, no matter how you're going to cook it, you can always make a healthy and tasty meal. This program is made with funding from New Zealand On Air.